Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Carly and today we are going to be playing episode 7 of our Growing Together LP. Right now, Kingston is just working on a school project, which he is working on sloppily because I just feel like he wants to get it over and done with. But yeah, he's going to need to do really good on this because I think he's a C student, so he has some catching up to do at school. To kick off this episode, we are going to be celebrating Harvest Fest. And right now, it is the daytime, it's the morning, but later on, we're going to have family over for a harvest fest dinner we're gonna have all the extended family so the torres family and tommy and kendra are all gonna come over here to san sequoia and we're gonna celebrate harvest fest together also i can't believe we are officially on episode seven if you guys watched a new dawn that was only six episodes before the series ended so we have officially surpassed that now so i just want to thank you all for watching and following along with their story i've seen a few of you guys watching a new dawn as well and that makes my day whenever i see someone watching my og series so i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this but as you can see it is 10 40 a.m on a friday so harvest fest is on a friday which is a good day for it and right now he is just working on his school project i think noelle is still asleep and also where is cyrus i think he's just cleaning up here um, Cyrus is actually currently feeling burnt out right now from working, so yeah, he's definitely- Oh! Willow is really dirty right now. He's definitely gonna need to take a break from work, which is okay because later on in this episode, I also plan on these two going on a vacation, just the two of them, which is going to be really exciting. Is he gonna give Willow a bath? Yes, he is! Thank you, Cyrus. Wait! Oh, Kingston has finished his school project quickly. Extra credit has been awarded. Great. I'm not used to that music. Wow, we have so much weeds. I don't want to give up on this garden yet, though. She's literally just got a weed vacuum. We're starting off the day tending to her garden. Harvest all. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Turn these on. We have to decorate, thankful spirit, grand meal, and do some drinking. I think we have the decoration box. Where do we have the decoration box? Oh, where did I put it? I don't know. I know I put it somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna find the decoration box and quickly put up the Harvest Fest decorations. We have put up our Harvest Fest decorations, just nice and simple. I don't want to go too crazy, and even with inside the house, I didn't really change up the decor or anything like that. Oh, also, update. Kingston is a scout, and I was playing off camera, and he did get promoted to a griffin scout because he earned one badge. So now we need to earn two more scouting badges to become a unicorn scout. So let's view the badge progress here. So he received his sociability badge. What else are we closest to getting? Oh, nothing else really. Just civic responsibility. Perform cleaning or repair actions and good deeds. Entertain a toddler, make someone laugh, take out the trash, or help someone with their homework. Let's try and take out the trash so he can maybe help out for the day. Let's do that. Empty the trash. Any other trash? Oh no, someone, someone dug into the turkey already! No way! No way. It better not be... We have two turkeys it's okay we've got a backup turkey rosemary is wondering if kingston wants to go to her house he's gonna be like no grandma you're coming over tonight already tommy's calling to chat with cyrus he's probably gonna talk about tonight okay he's gotten some progress towards his scouting badge okay i need to get dawn to continue cooking now i think i want her to make let's make some appetizers because we've already made the grand meal, which was the turkey, you would have seen in the intro. 
Now let's do, we can do a cheese board. I think we're gonna do a cheese board though, just a classic appetizer. Okay, so she's already made the cheese board and she's grabbed a piece. Did I tell you to grab a piece? No. Okay, you know what? I'll let her snack on it for now. She's hungry. Let's just eat that and then put it in the fridge. I wish I could lock the fridge sometimes. Okay, let's look at the desserts we have available. What suits the theme? Key lime pie. That sounds good. Wait, let me see what other options we have. Let's see. Let's see. Bake. 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 Pies and tarts. Should we do raspberry or pumpkin? Let's just change it up instead of doing pumpkin all the time. Let's do some raspberry. Also guys, for an update, as you can see, she has dyed her hair back to a dark brunette color and her neck is very tense from the previous days she spent writing because she just published two new books as well, which we did off camera. And I guess she's feeling very tense from that. But look how long her hair is as well. <gasps> Someone doorbelled, who's that? Rosemary's here early. Guys, someone doorbelled and it's Rosemary. It's grandma. So we're going to invite her in and let's give her a greeting. Let's give her a kiss. Give her a, oh, let's do be thankful actually. Okay, we'll get Noelle to do that. She just walked in. As I was saying, guys, Dawn did dye her hair dark brown. It's my favorite color on her. And she's been through a lot of hair phases by now. If you watched the new Dawn, you would have seen her previous hair phases. We've done blonde, her natural black hair color, um, and then dark brown, light brown, and back to dark brown. But yeah, it's grown out really long. Of course, Rosemary's cleaning. She's like, you don't keep this house clean enough, Dawn. What do you even pay your maid for? Let's get her to say hi to Cyrus. Oh, she's baked the pie, guys. Perfection. Let's be thankful together. And we've baked our raspberry pie. So we've officially made all the food that we were going to make. Oh, I wanted to make some eggnog. I'll be back. I have to place the eggnog. <gasps> she's going to prepare the eggnog. Cute. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know why I just love the animation so much. And I just love that grandma's helping out. It's 9 oh seven. You're joking. How is it 9 p.m.? That is insane. I can't believe that. All right, I'm inviting everyone over right now. That is crazy. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've started the dinner party at the Falls family home. And Rosemary has just changed into her cute outfit. She's wearing this Fendi jumper that Dawn bought her. And right now, I'm just having Dawn change into her outfit for tonight. And this is her cute outfit. It's so adorable. I love it. And that's Noelle's outfit as well. It looks like she came up here for some reason. I also just wanted to show you the update I've done to Dawn's closet. Ignore the floating bag. I did not realize it was floating until now. As you can see though, we have updated Dawn's closet. Just filled it out a little bit. She's checking herself out. How cute. I love her closet, guys. I had to fill it up because I removed the old CC. So her closet was empty. But also, we have some designer bags here. We have her Hermes right at the top of her shelf. I didn't fill out all the shelves because I wanted it to be realistic. You know, I want her to earn her bags. She's got her Chanel bag underneath. And then on this side, we have our two Lady Dior's and I think that's a Fendi bag. Around here, we just have some of her clothes. They also have closets where their clothes are inside as well. We have a Louis Vuitton luggage and we have a Christian Dior basket bag, a Celine travel bag. We have some of her shoes at the bottom here. I just didn't fill it out completely, but I love how it looks. Okay, so now that we're dressed, let's go downstairs and call everyone to eat. We just have Daisy and Saul talking because Daisy lives in the city now. Rosemary is helping set up the table and the food is all set out. So we're gonna call everyone to eat dinner here. Oh, she couldn't set up these two seats. That's okay. Let's get Dawn to call everyone to grand meal. Yay, she's calling everyone to grand meal. Just move that here. Mm. 
everyone is grabbing their dinner. Why did Noelle change into her workout outfit? I do not know. Okay, so first off, we have Tamara Torres, which is Dawn and Daisy's little sister. Fun fact, something I have to quickly acknowledge. I was watching my prequel, A New Dawn, and I realized I was supposed to name her Dahlia Torres. Just, you know, we could have the daughter's name starting with D, like Dawn and Daisy. And I forgot to actually change it in game. So when I started playing season two or growing together, I just started calling her Tamara, which is what the game named her. So we're just gonna keep rolling with that. She is named Tamara and she has aged up into a teen. As you can see, she looks very much like her child self, honestly, but just a teen now. And here we have Rosemary Torres and she is looking absolutely glamorous. Here with the long face, we have Daisy Torres. She has cut her hair really short, guys. She's kind of giving Edna right now, but in a really glamorous way. And yeah, she's honestly looking so good. But ever since she moved out from Dawn and Cyrus's house, she actually moved into San Mashuno. So she's living alone in the city right now in her own studio apartment. And she's kind of just figuring things out for now. Here we have Saul Torres. And yeah, Tamara is definitely his daughter. I feel like Dawn and Daisy look a little more similar to Rosemary. And Tamara looks a lot more like her dad. Here sitting right next to Dawn. And I just thought it was appropriate that she had a stank face on while she sits next to Tommy. He's sitting across from Noelle. And we have Cyrus over here. He's not even wearing the outfit I intended him to wear. But it actually kind of matches Dawn's outfit. So I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it go. Also guys, we have Kingston and Kendra over here sitting separately with the stank faces. Stop it, the matching stank faces. I feel like these two get along really well though. But yeah, they're eating over here because the dining table is clearly full. Right now, everyone has just grabbed seconds. It looks like they've switched up their seats as well. I don't know why Rosemary in the back is just glitching into the curtain. Oh, Daisy's greeting honey, guys. Let's get Noelle to talk to... Oh, Noelle's talking to Tamara. And let's get Noelle to talk to Tommy about fixing his bad relationship with Dawn. She's like, I want to see my parents get along better. Can you do better, Dad? Can you be the bigger person? Actually, no. I just completely forgot what he did to her. Never mind. I love this. I love some family time. Oh wow, he loves her cooking. He was like, whoa, Don, I gotta say, I missed your cooking. Is that weird to say? I don't know. But let's get Tommy to help Willow explore food. Let's do some... She didn't like pumpkin puree, did she? I don't know, what should we do? Let's just do some yogurt for now. Just snacky. I don't really get to see Tommy interact with Willow that much. So this would be cute. He's looking buff, to be honest. Oh, she's like, Dad! She's like, why do you look like my dad? Wait, you didn't feed her. What are you doing? Let's just do ice cream then, since she loves that. Guys, I love Dawn's outfit so much. He's not doing anything. But let's get Dawn to talk to Saul. Help fix bad relationship with who? I don't know who that is, but okay. And meaningful conversation. Converse about societal issues. Let's just talk about the news. Okay, so I'm gonna get Dawn to call everyone to eat pie as well. Oh wait, what's happening? What happened? What milestone? Wave milestone, how cute. Oh, they're all clapping for her. That is so cute. Oh, I love seeing Tommy with her, with his knees. Okay, everyone is eating some pie for dessert. Wow, it looks like Daisy grabbed like some thirds. Wow, people love Dawn's turkey. I'm so happy. They're all just telling Dawn what a good cook she's become as well. I mean, do you guys see the intro? She was really flexing on us with her cooking skills. I 
I love it. Oh, I think they're gonna have some eggnog now, guys. Let's bring the eggnog out. And we have some wine. Harvest Fest is about eating a whole bunch. Let's call to grab drink. There's just multiple courses to this meal, guys. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've actually drank eggnog in any of my LPs before. Or any of my games, actually, in general. Like, that is so cute! I've never had eggnog in real life. I don't know if it's good, guys. No way! No way. Are they being for real right now? Soul and rosemary. <gasps> they're doing the nasty in their daughter's home. <gasps> Stop! Stop! What are they doing? Whose switch is that? They probably took Tamara's switch. What are they watching on that switch? Oh my goodness. One thing about this couple though, they're always like... We had like a Halloween party at Dawn's and I know these two started getting it on in Dawn and Cyrus's bedroom. Oh my goodness, they're breaking into the guest bedroom already. They're actually going to be staying over tonight. They're going to be staying over for a few days while Dawn and Cyrus go on their vacation. So I'm going to have Cyrus talk to Daisy. Talk about cooking. What else? Let's ask how she is in general. Let's just do some small talk. Oh my goodness, everyone is so happy. Ask about chemistry together. No, ask about the food. Share some baby pictures with her. He's showing her some photos. She loves it. Let's get Dawn to change her diaper. Let's check on her needs. Oh, Dawn and Kendra are talking. I never see Dawn and Kendra talk that much. Tell engaging story. Guys, look at Kingston's outfit as well. He looks so cute and like, he looks so sharp. And Noelle's talking to Tommy. Love it. Let's get Kingston. Oh, okay. Well, Dawn has to change Willow's diaper. Oh, I think they're going to toast some marshmallows together. I think Kendra's going over to the living room to toast some marshmallows, so let's also roast some marshmallows. How cute is this, guys? They're roasting marshmallows together! Kendra and Kingston! I love them! Such good cousins. Okay, so these two are just... Oh, Kingston likes discussing interests. Yeah, okay. Dog lover lesson. Kendra is a dog lover. Talk about neighbors. Let's do an inside joke. Let's do funny. Let's make fun of adults. They're making fun of adults right now. I just feel like they're like, I feel like they're really similar. I feel like they're just both really cheeky kind of troublemakers. Tamara, what are you doing with that drink? Guys, look at the adults having their drink. <gasps> Tamara, what are you doing with that bottle? What are you doing with that bottle, miss? You may have aged up, but you're still a teen. She's not an adult yet, guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get Rosemary to talk to Tommy. Talk about drink preferences. Ask him if he likes the white wine. Talk about the family dynamic. These two are still on good terms. Even though, like, Tommy wronged Dawn in the prequel. You know, the parents would know about that, but... They're always gonna love Tommy. They love both Tommy and Cyrus. Plus, they're all family. And Tommy and Cyrus were really close with Dawn's parents since their parents passed away when they were young. 
Dawn's parents kind of took them in and, you know, they became like second parents to them, honestly. Aside from Tommy and Cyrus's grandma, Rosemary and Sol really stepped up as parents to, you know, the false brothers. So they're always going to be close. And they really just forgive Tommy because they don't hold grudges like that. Even though it's perfectly okay for Dawn to hold grudges. So Cyrus has asked Sol to come out to the front to talk in private with him about something very important. Okay, and it looks like they decided to stand up for this conversation. <laughs> so it looks like whatever these two were talking about went really well, and I think Cyrus is feeling very happy. On that happy note, we are going to end the Harvest Fest get together now and we'll move on with the rest of the episode it is now the following sunday dawn and cyrus are just at a cafe having a cute coffee date and cyrus is telling dawn all the exciting news on where he's taking her and he's sharing that he's taking her to windenburg because she's always wanted to go so dawn knew they were going on vacation but she didn't know where it is actually going to be dawn's birthday in this episode but she's not aging up into an adult yet it's just going to be like an ageless birthday but yeah her birthday is towards the end of fall so cyrus is taking her out and he's telling her that he booked the hotel she's always wanted to stay at he booked the chateau which is the penthouse suite that her favorite author has stayed at and yeah it's basically been a dream of hers to go to windenburg and stay at that hotel and in that suite so he is absolutely spoiling her and she is so grateful right now she's so excited for her upcoming birthday trip it's going to be just the two of them and they're gonna have a great time honestly cyrus is really excited too because he's feeling burnt out from his job so he was overdue for a vacation honestly i also thought it would be good for them to just have some quality time and go on a vacation just the two of them because they actually haven't done that yet in the future we will definitely be going on vacation with our kids and going on a family trip but for now Cyrus has some really special plans for just the two of them so these two are going to be taking off to windenburg tonight because they're all packed and ready to go they are so excited Dawn is just hugging him right now and telling him how grateful she is and how she can't wait so we will catch up with you guys when they wake up in windenburg we are now finally in Windenburg so Don and Cyrus arrived yesterday and they ended up just spending the day enjoying their penthouse suite because they just wanted to relax unwind they were a bit jet lagged so they just spent the day inside and they honestly had a really good time they celebrated they had lots of drinks so now Cyrus is taking a bath because he's feeling a little hungover from the previous day but while he does that I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the place that they're staying at so we are staying here in the old town square of Windenburg. So the floor they are staying on is the top penthouse suite and this is called the Chateau. This build is made by Amita Leary or Amita Leary, found on the gallery. I'll put the name up on the screen. It looks pretty much the same except I changed the windows on the top level. I completely renovated the inside guys. So middle floor is empty. I didn't do anything there. Top floor completely renovated. Bottom floor I added a cafe and I added a restaurant slash bar on that side. This is what it looks like when you come up to the elevator and I don't think this elevator is actually functional because this is a regular lot not an apartment. This whole apartment build is heavily heavily inspired by the Pareto suite by Bailey sorry if i'm butchering the name but i will put the details in the screen and i will link her apartment build below but she built this beautiful penthouse suite called the pareto suite for alto apartments in san maishuno i actually have the download myself but i couldn't place it here because the layout isn't the same and i didn't want them to go to san maishuno i wanted to go to windenburg so if you would like to download something that looks similar to this i will link the original build down below so you guys can get that same look and yeah so if you guys like this build all credits go to to Baylisa. I just did my best to recreate it. It's not exact because the layout's different and I just did a few different touches here and there but yeah most of it looks as similar
similar as I could. So this is what the coat closet looks like. It's super simple, so we don't really need to go in depth with that. And then we have this door to the guest bathroom. So let's go in here. And that is what the guest bathroom looks like, guys. And the vanity area over here. Let's go straight into the bedroom. So this is what the bedroom looks like, guys. It is so pretty. We have this little reading nook over here. On this side, we just have the closet, a mirror, and just some shopping bags. And then over here, we have the door to the bathroom. Guys, can we just take a moment to the bathroom? I replicated it as much as I could because it was honestly so beautiful. I don't want to change anything about it. I love this whole main character bathtub area where Cyrus was taking a rose bath. That's what that side of the bathroom looks like. We have this pretty statue over here. And then on this side, we have a little side table where they have some soaps, some bath bombs in here. They have their wine because they're definitely going to be drinking their wine while they take their bath. A candle and a Bluetooth speaker so they can listen to their classical music. And then we have this side, which just has the windows. We have a bathrobe that Dawn was using. And then we have their hamper, which room service collects every day. And then on this side, we have the vanity, which is very used already. Dawn brought her hair straightener, of course. And then we have the shower on this side closest to the door. And these are the kind of soaps, conditioner, shampoos that came with the hotel. And just look at the mirror in the background. How scenic is that? It looks like a painting. It is so pretty. But yeah, guys, that is all for their penthouse. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now let's go downstairs and check out the cafe and bar. Okay, so this renovation is definitely still a work in progress, but I did just quickly put down a cafe and restaurant because I am just in a building mood lately, guys. I've taken so long with filming because I suddenly keep getting the urge to build something new for the episode. So I can't wait to get into it. When you enter the hotel, this is kind of what the lobby looks like. It's not really done and it's pretty small. On this side, we have the entrance to the cafe, which we will go to now. And this is what the cafe looks like when you enter. This is an overview of the cafe. I love the trees in here. I love the color. I love the black and white. Over here we have the counter where you order your coffees and things like that. So on the opposite side of the cafe, we have the entrance to the restaurant. So this is what it looks like, guys. Oh my goodness, I love it. Like, I am so happy with how this turned out. It's very similar to the cafe, but the difference is it's a little bit of a darker scheme. We have green walls instead of like that off-white color. So that is what the entrance looks like. And then I put some high tables for people who are just coming here casually for the bar. And then we have some dining tables. And then this is the bar area. We have some pretty lights hanging from the ceiling. We have all the wines on display over here. We have another table down there. And we have this little stage as well for the pianist and the singer because there's definitely gonna be some live entertainment. And then on this side, we have this beautiful like mural wall kind of thing, but it's just so pretty. I just thought I'd add like a statement wall in here. So I might add the kitchen upstairs to make this restaurant functional because it's one of my favorite restaurants I've ever like, made, actually, I've never made a restaurant, but it's definitely one of my favorite restaurants in general. So I would love to actually dine in here. And yeah, that is all for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I was not going to share this one because this build, the outside build was made by someone else. And the whole top level was obviously heavily inspired by another creators but if you guys would like in the future i can definitely try making some restaurants and cafe builds if you're interested and you like the build style i can definitely try to make something similar of my own and share that and with that being said let's get straight into their gameplay it's a tuesday morning they also bought some groceries because they are also going to do their own cooking as well as going out to eat because they just want to fully experience living in such a lavish place dawn is living it up and she is so happy already and she's just so grateful to be on this trip and to have a partner who really spoils her and just wants the best for her. Okay, right now, Cyrus wants to mentor his child, which he can't do because he's on vacation. And he wants to listen to blues music. Is that what's playing? No, let's change the station to some blues because that's what he wants to listen to. Dawn and Cyrus are just going to be in their soft era. They're just gonna be in their slow living soft era right now because Cyrus has been needing a break for a long time. He got burnt out again from work and I feel like he's just constantly burnt out from his work. What? 
Cyrus wants to have another child, guys. I think three is where I feel like stopping. I don't want to have another child anytime soon. If you two want to have a child, you can do that when I move on to the next generation and you can do it in your own time. But I think I'm going to have him read a book as well. Oh, you know what? Instead of reading a book, I'm actually going to have Cyrus empty this and he's going to make them some coffee. And they're going to drink coffee on the terrace. Let's make a salted caramel latte. And we have some leftover breakfast scramble from yesterday. We have some leftover food in general. We have some French onion soup and some breakfast scramble. I'll actually just see what he wants to eat. I'm gonna get some leftovers. Okay, so these two are just coming out here to eat their breakfast and have their drinks. They're eating leftover French yeah, onion soup boy. that Don made last <laughs> night. How pretty is this? This is just so peaceful and relaxing, guys. I love how this balcony looks. Oh, stop the bell in the background. The birds chirping, the river in the background. This is just so pretty. I can't get over it. What a relaxing morning, guys. Dawn is finally getting a break from maintaining the house, looking after all the kids, cooking all the time for them. So she's gonna take a big break and try to get some inspiration and also enjoy her birthday. And same with Cyrus, he just needs to relax so that he can stop being burnt out all the time. So what are Dawn's whims? She wants to have a child as well and skill up. What is with these two and wanting to have a child? You guys just, you had one. You literally just had one like, Two episodes ago. Oh, I'm gonna drag it because she's not doing anything. Um, what can we level up in? Let's also have them drink their leftover nectar. Ugh, I love this soft life for them. Oh, they're going out into the balcony again. <gasps> oh my goodness. What does Dawn need to level up in? She wants to skill up. I'm not sure what we should try to level up in. I don't know, maybe we could try to level up in dancing later, I don't know. I'm going to get Dawn to dance to this. Guys, it's so close. I'm literally just going to get them to do this until she levels up. Look at her from the outside, guys. Oh, she reached dancing level 5! Okay, it got ticked off. She wants to publish a book. Well, that's fine because... You know what, I'm gonna pin that, since she wants to get inspiration for writing. It's now later on in the night, and these two are gonna have a drink because it is officially Dawn's birthday, guys. Her birthday is today, because it's around 12 a.m. now, and they're going to have a celebratory drink. Cyrus is gonna set the mood, turn on the fireplace and the jazz music, and then he's gonna show Dawn what he got for her birthday. <laughs> He's like, you're so old yeah, now. <laughs> and she's like, you're literally older than I am. Yeah, but so she's like, you got me another present? I thought this trip was my oh, present. And he's like, of course I had to get you something. So this is Cyrus's present to Dawn. Obviously the Windenburg trip and the stay at the chateau is her whole last present. Honestly, that's already amazing, but he couldn't stop there. You know how Cyrus is, he loves to spoil her. So he got her this Hermes bag that she's been wanting for ages. And he got her the Van Cleef bracelet as well. She has the necklace and she's been wanting the matching bracelet for such a long time. But yeah, that is what he got her for her birthday. Let's get her to say thank you to him. Just be affectionate. Um, oh, he's already being romantic. She's gonna express fondness. Kiss hands. Sibo, Roshithama. And then hug lovingly. She's so happy. Ooh. 
She looks pretty drunk, guys. Get him to kiss her hands. Cute. Does Dawn like physical intimacy? Intimacy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's drunk, guys. Time for some drunk woohoo. <laughs> and that's her cue for drunk woohoo. So these two are gonna have some. So that was a nice start to Dawn's birthday. We will catch up with you guys the next day. Oh my, was that just Dawn's foot? <laughs> no way, I've never seen that. Oh, not the fireworks, not the fireworks. Dawn is not gonna be pregnant, guys. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys, look at Dawn's whim. She wants to become enemies with Elsa from being unfriendly. <gasps> That is so funny. Why are you thinking about Elsa? She's like literally, actually she's in Windenburg. <gasps> that's probably why she's thinking about her because Elsa literally moved back to Windenburg because that's where she's from. <gasps> Dawn is starting off by having a, her main character moment in the bath, having her rose petal bath with her classical music playing. I just like to call this area the main character area. I know I've said it so many times, but look at that. Like, this is such a dream. I need to have a bath like this one day, honestly. I'm so jealous of them. But this is a beautiful start to her morning. So as you can see here, we're going to do some drinking today. We are going to go on a date. Dawn is going to open her present, which she's already done. So I'll probably take that off. And we've just got to be in the party spirit. So I am really excited. So while Sarah sleeps, I think Dawn is going to do some reading. And then when he gets up, they're probably going to go downstairs to the cafe to have some breakfast. And Dawn is just going to have a seat and do some reading just in her towel. Because why not? the cafe downstairs and these two are eating their breakfast dawn got the impossible breakfast which i believe is a plant-based burger and she got her iced matcha meanwhile cyrus got a smoked bacon burger with egg and cheese i believe and he just got the starbucks ice shaken espresso i do have the starbucks menu mod which is so amazing i didn't even realize i had that in my game but i am loving it i love all the new drinks it just spices it up oh no i didn't realize dawn's bag was glitching with her outfit whatever we're gonna have to ignore that how pretty is this guys I got Cyrus to give Dawn a birthday toast, so we'll see how that looks like. Oberoi. Oh, he just got a drink out of nowhere. Okay, I guess that was mainly for like if they go to dinner <laughs> or something. Oh, oh, but it looks like Cyrus is toasting to Dawn's birthday. I love that. He just got a drink out of nowhere. That is so cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, oh, Cyrus, sit and chat here. It's around 12 p.m. now. I might just have these two explore, go for a walk in Windenburg or something. Oh, she's throwing confetti for her birthday. I love it. Oh, my goodness. I love that. Okay, we are now at the park in Windenburg. Dawn and Cyrus are just exploring around and I think they're gonna sit here and play chess together and just enjoy the day. I've never seen these two play chess together actually. They're just exploring Windenburg today. Oh, Cyrus ticked off, I mean Dawn ticked off something. She wants to read a book at the library as well. Why is the principal here? I haven't been to Windenburg in so long. I had like a family that wasn't in an LP in Windenburg before. I had like a legacy in Windenburg. And ever since then, I just haven't played in so long. 
but I love it here. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, they have to get a picture here. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> These two need to like take a walk or something. Okay, so I think I want to get Cyrus to take a photo of Dawn here with the cherry blossoms. Let's see if he'll take. Oh no, she's standing up. Okay, we should still get her. Oh, this is so cute. So Cyrus is just going to take her photos. She's so happy right now. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. That's a pretty photo. Oh, she's like looking at the cherry blossoms. I love this. We are going to buy some flowers from this flower vendor here so that we can gift Dawn with some before we head off to dinner. The two have just spent their day exploring Windenburg and just enjoying their sights and things like that. Let's get her... Let's get a begonia. It's 114. Yeah, let's get that. Oh look, there's a painting here! It's a princess! That is so pretty! Dawn is sitting here, so Cyrus is gonna come over and give her her flower. Just a small flower, just very romantic, and they have had a really good day together. Oh, she's so happy. Just a small little addition to all her gifts that she's received. Oh, she gave him a rose in return. This outfit was supposed to be worn at a... Oh, wait, there's a message. Dawn gave Cyrus a gift along with a romantic message. You are my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. <gasps> That is so sweet, guys. She's feeling super poetic and romantic right now, clearly. He's like, we have had an amazing day. Now I'm going to take you to dinner. I've got one last reservation. So right now we are actually back at the hotel because we are eating at the restaurant. It is actually a Michelin star restaurant. So they definitely wanted to dine here, especially since they were just staying in the same place. So they're really excited and look at their outfits guys. I don't know why but it's kind of reminding me of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This is Dawn's birthday outfit. The inspiration was actually breakfast at Tiffany's. As you can see, I feel like it's pretty obvious. Cyrus honestly always looks so sharp in a black tux. So these are just some other people who are staying at the hotel. And as you can see, we have the live music. It's pretty loud though. I wasn't expecting it to be that loud. Let's order for the table. <laughs> all right let's get i don't know if we're gonna order like just the alcohol from the menu because i think they're gonna order a bottle so yeah we might get some food and then order a bottle and if we can't then we'll get some drinks but let's get some appetizers oh a chef's choice look at all this it's a very experimental gourmet menu um i think dawn is gonna have the honeyed world fruit charcuterie and cyrus is gonna have the cured meat crisps and they're just gonna get the appetizers for now uh -huh. and cyrus is gonna yes. order a bottle we're going to get champagne of course because it's dawn's birthday and they're celebrating so let's grab a drink together where's cyrus going Cyrus, why do you have to sit there? So Dawn is just placing her order. What, a cupcake? Okay, let's talk to each other. And we're just gonna be like, I can't believe how far we've come. From all the drama that happened back in Port Sim to where we are now in Windenburg. Okay, their food has arrived. So let's take a photo and eat and learn experimental food. She's gonna do the same. Acquired the gourmet cooking skill. Look at him, he's like really investigating his meal. The waiter's just like, is everything going good? And they're like, yeah, amazing, thank you. 
Oh my gosh, there's like... I thought it was stinky, but... Oh, it's empty. There was like some kind of fumes coming out of that. And Don is talking to him about the politician career because he did bring up that he was considering doing that in the future. And he's like, we'll just see when we come to it. But I definitely still want to achieve my goal of becoming the chief of police. Alright, I think they're ready to order their main meals. Okay, let's get our mains now. I think Cyrus is going to get the volcano pasta and Dawn is going to get the sizzled brisket. Guys, they are so flirty. Look at their mood. Let's hot dinner date, special connection, feeling great, nicely decorated. And it looks like Dawn has all the same ones. Interesting taste. It kind of tastes like plastic and makes strange sounds, but it's also a work of art. Art, I tell you. That's from eating the experimental food. Oh, she blew him a kiss. Guys, they are maxed out over here. Oh no, did someone spill something? I'm just gonna throw it away for them because I don't want to see that. Oh, guys, the live music. I don't know why the people are standing on the stage. I hope you guys can hear me over the loud music, though. It is really loud from what I can hear. I think we're going to... I think we're going to drag this into our inventory because we're going to make space for more drinks. Because they're not just going to have champagne, they're also going to have some wine. We're going to have the Monte Vista Reserve. Dawn will have that, actually. And then Cyrus is going to get some white wine because I feel like that'll go better with a pasta. We'll get the Pinot Blanc. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kiss him away. No, come on. Also, it said that oh. Dawn's birthday was successful, so I'm glad they had a really good day. Our food's arrived. And we'll need to have deep conversation twice. Guys, look at that. Oh, why did she get her wine and Cyrus didn't get his white wine? Look at their food, guys. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, <gasps> it's bubbling. The pasta's bubbling, guys. Okay, we need to socialize about the meal. Oh no, can I do that before it ends? I'm not sure. Yeah, relish cuisine's delicious nature. <gasps> no way. Gold medal earned, guys. We got a gold medal on our date. Legendary date. Stop it. What is he doing here? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna delete him. That's what happens if you're gonna walk around naked, you get deleted. You know what? Let's take his dessert too. And his drink. Yep, we're gonna take his dessert and his drink. Oh my goodness, we're eating his food. I love it. That's what he gets for walking around naked and ruining my aesthetic gameplay. They got the best seat as well. She's probably like, where'd my date go? <laughs> Don has tasted the wonders of experimental food, and now, understanding the complex flavors involved, can cook this dish at home. Amazing. He's gonna have his drink. Let's have them sit at the bar. Order favorite drink. Let's see what their favorite drinks are. Oh, she said bartend? Order favorite drink. Oh, 
Guys, look at the pianist. She is going off. I want to tip her. Yeah, let's give her a tip. Let's get Cyrus to give her a tip. Love that. Looks like it's raining as well. Oh my goodness, go off. She's amazing. Bravo. I'm clapping for her, guys. Oh, that was so good. That was amazing. I love this so much. Dancing to the piano. Cyrus is looking confident, I think. Guys, they're engaged. I'm so happy for them. You personality trait loyal. It looks like Cyrus is feeling particularly loyal and committed to his relationship these days. Trust is important to him. Embrace the change. Yes, absolutely. He is so loyal. I love that. I'm so happy for them. They're officially engaged, guys. On the road to fame, guys. That's because the proposal was gained them some fame because I think it was in a public place. That's why. Amazing. Well, the pianist has gone home. Dawn is officially an engaged woman. So I think they're going to call it a night for the restaurant and they're going to go upstairs to their penthouse suite. These two are back home and they are just enjoying their time slow dancing in front of the fireplace. How sweet is that, guys? Dawn is so happy. She sounds like she's about to cry. And Cyrus is so happy. He's just looking at her with so much love right now, guys. These two are just getting some photos together. Guys, how gorgeous do they look? They look so good. This is the ring, it's an emerald cut ring, and this is exactly what Dawn wanted. Let's get this last photo. Dawn is just outside looking at her ring and the way it shines in the sun. As you guys can tell, they are both so happy and I am happy for them. I knew that they were gonna get engaged, but ever since, you know, her broken engagement with Tommy, Dawn really wanted to take her time before jumping into another one. She just didn't want to rush into it. Her and Cyrus had a good routine going anyways, just living together, but this is something that Cyrus really wanted to do, and I know Dawn wanted this as well. But yeah, I feel like this is the perfect time. Their kids have aged up, their children now, and I'm so excited to get into wedding planning as well. I definitely want to have the wedding while they're still kids but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode in the next one we will still be in windenburg we'll explore a little more and then we'll go home and announce the engagement to our family and probably have an engagement party but i can't wait to get into all that so sorry for the long wait for this episode guys i probably spent two weeks trying to film this the perfectionist just really kicked in for this episode and i put so much pressure on myself but i love how it turned out and i hope you guys did too thank you all so much for watching and i I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.